Did you guys not think to tell me that I could break out when my skin was ready clear and I maybe would not have done it? Huh? Did you guys not think that was important enough to tell me that there was a possibility of my skin being worse than it was before? Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Aisha and on this channel we do beauty videos, makeup and skincare for the most part. I love healthy looking skin and I would do almost anything to achieve it. And a chemical pill was one of them, but that didn't end up so well. In this video, I'm just going to be giving you some insight into my personal journey and a little insight on chemical pills in general. So first, we're going to start with what a chemical pill is. A chemical pill is basically a procedure where they take a skincare acid like salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lactic acid, and pass it over the skin in order to peel off the top layer and reveal a new healthy layer. So there's three different types of pills for the most part. There's a superficial pill, which is, as the word superficial is, it's very on the surface. It doesn't really go deep into the skin. Then you have a medium pill, which goes deep into the skin, but doesn't go like so deep into the skin. Then you have the deep pill, which goes even further down into the surface of the skin. So before you get your chemical pill, there's a lot of prep that is meant to be done. First of all, if you're going to get a chemical pill, make sure you're going to a professional. But even with going to a professional, you need to make sure you yourself are armed with knowledge about you know whatever pill you're trying to get, which is what I skimped on and made my journey a journey from hell. So the first thing is prep before a chemical pill. You need to prepare your skin for the acids that are going to go over it. If you don't prepare your skin, it's going to be a very massive shock to it you're normally meant to prepare for a chemical pill for one month but for me I did it for like two months because I wasn't sure whether I was going to get the pill or not I'm going to insert a picture of my skin before I started my prep this was in like early July so essentially the prep was two things the prep was actually three things products from the esthetician I went to and sunscreen of course I had already been wearing sunscreen but I doubled down on it and was actually reapplying and all those things just to ensure that my skin was not too sensitive before the pill so the prep skincare they give you is to essentially break down some of the melanin and stop the melanin production so when they do do the pill it will have maximum effects and it won't be a shock to your skin so I did my prep and honestly my skin was amazing my main concern getting a chemical pill was the fact that my face and my chest didn't match that is something i have struggled with for a long time by the end of my prep honestly my face and my chest were essentially the same color just slightly off so i had decided before that i was just going to skip the pill the prep had given my skin everything i needed really because my skin was really great but i still had some hyperpigmentation on my cheekbones like my contour lines so i wanted to get rid of everything and i wanted my face to just be like one color and smooth that was my first mistake our skin tones are hardly ever the same color i'm going to attribute that desire to me seeing lots of people that obviously had good skin but had even exaggerated how clear their skin was by good lighting the same thing was happening on the page of the esthetician i went to there were so many pictures of final results with people in extremely exposed lighting so everything just seemed the same color even when i would take some pictures sometimes after my prep or during my prep my skin looked the same color and i knew that wasn't exactly how it was but i still went ahead because i wanted to get rid of it and i forgot to mention i did this at the aesthetic clinic in lagos you know that really popular one so i trusted them like oh you guys are ogs in black skincare i went in for my second review the review before i get my chemical pill i had let him know my needs from time my main concern was my face not matching my chest and I believe that was on my file. That should have been on my file. I tell them I want to proceed with the chemical pill. Which chemical pill can I get? Because they were offering three different types of chemical pills, which they didn't even say what was in the chemical pills, just different names. So I was recommended to do the most expensive pill on their list, which is the clarity pill. And most expensive to me meant that was the deepest pill they had. And I was confused as to why I needed such a deep pill even though my skin was really great. I asked the esthetician, I was like, um, why am I getting the strongest pill? My skin is okay. And he was like, oh no, 
the lesser pills are for people that have active acne to stop their acne and this is the pill that you're meant to do and i was like oh okay during my prep i had let him know that i was traveling back to england in september and i asked him should i do my pill while i'm in nigeria or should i do it before i travel so i can peel in england and he was like mm, yeah i should get it before i go to england so i can go and peel in england so i got my pill done the day before i was scheduled to leave for london so now i'm going to talk about the actual procedure first of all nobody talks about how painful a chemical peel is it is so painful i was literally cursing as they were passing the acid on my face because it stung like hell the pill was done in about 30 minutes 40 minutes she put this cream it was like a sunscreen kind of cream on my face that i had to have on my face till i got my skincare done in the night time i was asked to continue using basically the same regimen i was used to prep with immediately after the pill so day two of my pill i'm back in england my skin starts turning dark your skin gets really dark before it peels off i'll insert a picture again everything is looking good it's darkening i'm like yes my skin is going to be so bomb after this pill i remember tweeting like oh my god i remember when my face was too dark i had to match my foundation to my chest now i'm gonna be good huh <laughs> little did i know so day three is starting to lift but not really pill you know but it's starting to show signs that oh yeah i'm ready to come up day four i start peeling right and as i start peeling i start noticing like my face is feeling really irritated like really really irritated this can't be right i sent a message to their customer service like yo what is going on why is my face irritated at this point i'm starting to get inflammations like you know when your skin has a rash i sent the pictures and the customer service rep lady whoever the person is tells me oh no i'm not irritated my skin isn't irritated that's just the peeling i'm like huh what do you mean my skin isn't irritated like i know about my skin and i can tell my skin is irritated okay i take matters into my own hands the next day i get hydrocortisone cream and i start using it this was on a weekend so they were closed on sunday then on monday i send a message to one of the statisticians and i'm like hello my skin is literally inflamed what what is going on and she's like oh you know just traveled and all of the changes in the environment the changes in water so you're irritated i think you should use hydrocortisone cream oh so if i didn't start using hydrocortisone cream three days before when your customer service told me there was nothing wrong what would have happened to my face i would have just been itching and my face would be fucked and i tell her like yeah i'm already on hydrocortisone cream i put myself on hydrocortisone cream because obviously there's something wrong to add this very important part when i sent my pictures to the person that did the pill she told me to send all the pictures of all the things they had told me to buy before even saying anything about the irritation she was alluding to me not buying a particular soothing cream which was a five times markup from the retail price of that product that they were selling at their clinic i found that very very interesting so you're trying to say it's my fault so i'm using the hydrocortisone cream and the routine they gave me and i just think to myself wait a minute why am i using tretinoin hydroquinone and some other formula thing they have why am i using that immediately after i got a chemical pill like is this even safe for my skin now on like day six the perimeter of my face is still peeling but for the most part everything in the middle has peeled and i'm starting to notice the reaction i have is still there it's just not itchy anymore i didn't talk about the itching that shit was itching me my skin was also very dry then i realized like oh i'm in england it's dry hair nobody thought to tell me this that i may need a humidifier so i got a humidifier like day five so day six i'm starting to notice wait a minute these reactions they're kind of turning into dots like spots so it's starting to form white spots here 
and on my chin there's a reaction all over my face does that mean i'm going to be covered in white spots so by day seven day eight my skin had finished peeling but another problem had arised the white spots started turning into pimples oh my god i was sending them messages like bro what is going on on my skin why am i breaking out i've never broken out before like this my chin my cheeks I start noticing the pimples I start doing the research I should have done before I got my chemical pill and I'm starting to see people on YouTube saying oh yeah my skin purged a little I had a few pimples after you know and it started making sense to me of course if they're going to take a deep layer of my face off the shit that is underground is going to come to the surface did any institution not think to tell me this? Did you guys not think to tell me that I could break out when my skin was ready clear and I maybe would not have done it? Huh? Did you guys not think that was important enough to tell me that there was a possibility of my skin being worse than it was before? Then I send the pictures. I'm like, yo, you guys, I'm breaking out. What the hell is happening? He's like, oh yeah, that's just your skin's normal reaction. It's possible for you to purge. That's why we tell you, you may need more than one pill. Are you fucking kidding me? I may need more than one pill. So you mean to tell me every time you do a pill for me, I'm going to break out that you guys are going to do a pill. Then my pill is going to, what? I'm thinking like, damn. So you mean to tell me I'm going to break out on my whole entire face really and my skin had never broken out like that before before i even joined the fucking clinic my skin wasn't like that so why am i going out sad like this like i need answers i need fucking answers i'm breaking out for about a week by the end of the week they're already drying down dark all of those things turned really 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 dark Got to add that all of the information that came when I reacted, they all turned into hyperpigmentation as well. So you can see that it. So now the 14 day window that they told me that I'm going to peel for is over. And I'm like, okay, now this is what my skin looks like. This is the result of the chemical peel that you guys speak of. My neck, the way they peeled my neck, there was a burn like this across my neck. They're telling me, oh, the products we gave you for the aftercare that's what you're meant to use to take that off and like first of all if you're going to pass acid over a place isn't it meant to peel why the fuck is it not peeling and it just turned dark so i'm talking to the clinic and wondering what the fuck is going on with my skin and everybody is just acting so nonchalant like i paid well over 250,000 naira to get my skin peeled and this is the treatment I'm getting. You obviously do not give a fuck about my skin. You give a fuck about making money. What pissed me off the most is that if I didn't know about doing skincare, if I wasn't familiar with like chemicals and stuff, I would have been listening to the esthetician. And I had just introduced my mom to the clinic, having thoughts like, wow, so you guys could just put my mom on the total wrong path and fuck up her skin as well as mine like make it make sense we're, getting, we're paying so much money to get these things done and you do not care you literally do not care are you not meant to be like a medical professional to some extent so now they're telling me oh the peeling is done and now the real results will come in in about a month after i start back the products they gave me i start the products again my breakouts had stopped and yes my skin was glowing cool that was very nice i had a beautiful glow on my skin you know fantastic but my skin was covered in scars deep dark scars do you know how crazy that is so now after the month obviously hyperpigmentation is not going to go in a month i send them a message again like okay the month's up what now 
they're like okay we're going to pass you over to our clinic in london mind you their clinic in london isn't even a fucking clinic okay it's a room with an esthetician i go to see her in far far away town and she's like oh yeah right now your skin is healing all of that you could come in for another chemical peel to take off the hyperpigmentation oh so when i told you guys in nigeria I wanted to do a chemical peel to take off the remaining hyperpigmentation on my cheeks you guys knew there was a possibility that i'll have to do like three or four treatments before my skin could get to anywhere that i'll be happy with i sent a message to the head esthetician again like yo you guys knew this you guys knew there was a possibility to, for this to happen you didn't tell me all of these things then he starts saying oh you know before you can tackle hyperpigmentation you need to tackle in the root cause there's no fucking root cause bro yes my hormones make me break out from time to time but i've never broken out like this and he's like yeah yeah it's probably the hormones you know it's probably the hormones and i'm like oh you don't fucking say why did you use a deep pill for me and then he starts telling me oh no yeah even though it's the most expensive it's not the deepest pill we have get the fuck out of here the issue for me is integrity like you know there's a possibility of this happening but because you want me to spend my money with you you won't tell me that there's a possibility and obviously you know i'm going to come back running to you to try to get it fixed it's, it's insane so after all of this i just blacklisted the clinic honestly like in my mind like i'm not going back to you guys you guys do not care about my skin the aesthetic clinic lagos has zero integrity and people really really need to know that because what you see on instagram will have you thinking like oh they're these superheroes that save everyone i have gone back to using the routines i used before like using the correct actives making sure my skin is hydrated making sure i'm changing my pillow cases you know all of that stuff but my hyperpigmentation is still there like now i'm not wearing full coverage foundation you can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation so it's a slow but sure process to my skin getting clear again and free of all my hyperpigmentation i'm going to insert some pictures of myself from october till now january with just you know a very basic skincare routine i'm going to try to add some more actives because i've been slacking on it honestly after the pill and my skin getting messed up i stopped caring so much about my skin in terms of like having spots and whatever i was just like you know what i have hyperpigmentation from my acne and that's it honestly that is it i can't command that it's obviously annoying when you have to do makeup because doing makeup with scars you have to cover them up and all of that but honestly it's, it's just a hyperpigmentation you know so my final thoughts on getting a chemical pill okay to have hyperpigmentation as i've said a few times from my regret this doesn't need to be one color we're rich in melanin when things happen to us like you get spots you get a pimple you get a cut your skin gets hyperpigmentation i'm one person that is always cutting myself look at this this is a very small cut and i have hyperpigmentation now like it's literally normal to have hyperpigmentation i was in a pursuit of perfection that's why i got that chemical pill and i don't want to say i regret it because i actually do regret it but i learned a very important lesson if you still decide to go on with your chemical pill make sure that you are well informed make sure you have done your research make sure you're going to someone who you can trust and make sure you ask all the necessary questions because estheticians are also business people they won't repeat customers and some people like the clinic aesthetic lagos don't have integrity so they want you to keep coming back coming back coming back and you know they don't care as long as you come back if you go to the end of this video thank you for watching honestly i got angry in some parts because i'm just remembering how everything went down and how nonchalant they were but thank you for watching i post a video every friday on makeup techniques mostly and sometimes skincare if you like that kind of content please subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up you know help me know you like it thank you for watching my video and you'll see me in my next video goodbye